Very good afternoon to one and all. Uh, I am uh, Gaurav Bukhani from uh, SJC, that is Sri Deshanajana Pradesha Indian from Mysore. Today I will be presenting a project which me and my teammates have been working on since the last past one year. This project is nothing but uh, a different approach. A different approach. Why a different approach is required? A different approach is required because we, we know and most of the people all over the world know that we face a lot of problems in our near future. One of the most important, one of the main problems in our near future that we are going to face is the global warming. Global warming is a phenomenon of increase of average temperature all over the globe due to the caused by many, many reasons because of natural disorders uh, like volcanoes, eruptions and all. But mainly it is caused because of human activities. Human activities such as industrialization where industries use up a lot of combustible fuels, uh, they combust a lot of uh, coal, petroleum and crude oil and produce a lot of fumes due to which a lot of uh, exhaust gases is produced and pollution is caused. And also the second most important uh, 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 thing that is contributing to the pollution is our automobile running, our automobiles that are running throughout the world here. Automobiles nowadays run on conventional fuels that are that is basically products of uh, petroleum, that is petrol and diesel. So this causes a lot of again a lot of pollution to the air and uh, then we the global warming. Now as we see in this graph, the orange bar that we see here is the prediction of geologists, which shows that the uh, crude oil that that we have, the pieces of crude oil that we have today, as then will be uh, exhausted within the next 45 years, and then coming to the natural gas, which will get exhausted within the next 60 years, and then uh, coming to coal, which we uh, which we extensively use for electricity production, will get uh, exhausted by around 200 and 250 years again. So basically these are the these three important points which uh, have all the which have inspired us to uh, go for a different approach. This different approach is nothing but uh, an approach which we have which we have tried to make into a green energy technology. This green energy technology is concentrated on a new kind of an engine which was developed in the 19th, uh, 20th century by a German uh, scientist called Felix Wanker. It's called the Wanker engine. The approach which is the Wanker engine was developed by Felix Weinzel in the year 1924. It was a concept in the year 1924 and uh, due to his uh, hard work and uh, dedication, he could make it into a uh, working model in the year 1957. As by the year 1957, the model was working but the efficiency of the model was very less. But this model and this idea was taken up by one of the very important and very famous com uh, companies of USA, which is Mazda Automobile, and they have developed and improved this engine and have been using in their range of cars. They have come up with the, the most latest model of Wanker engine that they have come up with is RX-8 and RX-8 hydrogen model. This uh, engine is basically a rotary design, a rotary type of an engine. It has a piston which is roughly of a triangular shape as we can see in the image here. And uh, the cylinder is uh, of, uh, roughly of an ellipse, uh, ellipse uh, geometry which is actually called as uh, epitropoid geometry. And uh, the piston, as we see here, rotates about a fixed axis, which is the red color uh, thing here. And then, because of the rotational uh, characteristics of this piston, we get a very high power output. And also, due to the uh, rotational characteristics, the torque developed in this piston is high, and as well, uh, we get a very high RPM. Coming to the uh, aspect of this uh, model, I would like to call upon my project associate, Mr. Dollar. Thank you. Apart from using to non-polluting renewable high-profile energies as fuels, it also employs green energies like solar energy and wind energy for energy augmentation. So the innovation details I would like uh, Gaurav to continue. Thank you. Um, innovation. What is different in this uh, project of ours? Basically, the most the most important point that renewable that is uh, first one is compressed air. And uh, second one is electromagnetism, which is nothing but a different uh, type of using electricity in the engine. Then uh, the use of polymer composites. Again here, uh, we use polymer composites to manufacture or fabricate most of the parts of our engine, which again will reduce the weight of the engine and also uh, provides a platform for the using of uh, electromagnets. Then the next point coming to the next point is controlling the flow of compressed air. By controlling the flow of compressed air, uh, we propose to for example, if you have a vehicle which requires a high torque in the beginning, then by letting in compressed air, at a, uh, which is at a high pressure, or uh, letting in a lot of compressed air, which is at a high pressure, we can, uh, we can get the amount of torque that is required to move the vehicle, that is to overcome the static friction of the vehicle. 
Then also uh, coming to the next point, we are using uh, two other kinds of renewable energy to uh, uh, for the charging of our onboard battery, that is solar and wind energy. Then applications, where can we use this kind of an engine? This kind of an engine can be used in public transport vehicles, which uh, in the beginning, in the starting stages, require a high power to start and also require a high power output because of its heavy uh, load. Then uh, second point is we can use it in a vast range of agricultural applications like excavators, power dealers, etc. where again uh, the top requirement is high and uh, the vehicle is slow moving. Then again uh, the next, uh, another important uh, application could be uh, in uh, belt uh, track mechanisms in industries. That is uh, for example we have assembly lines where the assembly lines go at a very slow rate but carry a load which is very high in uh, range of uh, hundreds of pages or tons. And then uh, coming to the last application is race car. Uh, we know that uh, one automobile is being, has been using uh, vehicle engine, uh, their developed model of vehicle engine that is RX8 and RX8 hydrogen, uh, uh, which uses combustible fuels. But uh, we propose to use uh, our engine which runs on uh, renewable uh, sources of energy in race car. Then on a final note, this engine promises a greater efficiency because we know that uh, a vehicle engine Vengal engine normal combustible, Vengal engine with natural combustible fuels produces only one power source per cycle. But by using compressor there and uh, uh, by using compressor and electromagnetism, we are producing decompression of air in the third stroke. Hence, uh, in the fourth stroke, we get a second power stroke. Hence, the efficiency is increased. And also, because of the uh, lighter weight of the engine, uh, we increase our efficiency. Then, uh, coming to the next point, Vengal uh, engine uh, is, has a very simple uh, model. I mean, the design of the Vengal engine is very simple uh, when compared to reciprocating engines. Doesn't have many machine parts or uh, contacting surfaces, hence uh, it occupies less volume. And uh, it also has far less friction losses because uh, there aren't many contacts, uh, surfaces which are in contact with each other. Then, uh, lastly, this is a completely eco friendly concept. Uh, and uh, finally, ending this presentation, I would like to say uh, there are many people, uh, many individuals, and many companies all over the world who have recognized the problems that we are going to face in the future and also have committed themselves. They have taken steps towards finding solutions and uh, uh, some uh, green energy technologies that would help the common man in the future. So this, by this project, uh, we would like, uh, we just wanted to show you our attempt at uh, what we think could be a possible solution in, for the automobile industry in the future week and also it could be exploited commercially based, uh, by researching properly on it and uh, made available to the common man. Thank you. I would like to like, 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 like.